Welcome to, tonight, to tonight's practice. Tonight's practice is going to be a forest yoga practice. So we're going to get our heat on, but we'll take it nice and slow. And if at any time you feel that you want to just, that it's, it's um, too hot a practice for you, you just sit with your breath with your eyes closed and just connect with your breath and then you can um, come back into the, the flow of the practice if that's better for you. Okay, so close your eyes. Connect in with your Ujjaya breathing. Feel the strong connection that you have with your body. Feel your hips pushing into the mat. And using your breath to bring yourself out of your head and into your body. So feel your body. Feel connected to your body. Because it's so easy to just let your mind wander and you know, start daydreaming and getting distracted with everything. So use your deep breath and your active feet throughout tonight's practice to bring you into this moment and to have a strong connection with your body. The intent for tonight's practice is to feel your power. So I invite you to feel how strong your body is, how strong your mind is. Because if we can feel confident and strong within our own body and our mind, then negative thoughts can be held back. We can let them wash over us just like water. And that way we don't get dragged down emotionally and then also physically. And open your eyes. The pranayama tonight is Kapalabhati. Let's do it with our legs in um, Baddha Konasana, if it's okay for your, your hips and your knees. So bring your soles of your feet together and switch on your active feet. Remember, have cushions under your hips if that's better for you. And you can also lean against a wall if it's better for your low back. So Kapalabhati breath, it's a, an inhale and an exhale to start with. So we inhale and then it's a forced exhale. We push all the breath out. And then we start our count. So forced exhale, passive inhale. And it sounds like this. So you're pushing with your diaphragm to release the breath from the lungs and then you get the passive inhale. Three rounds and we'll do 20 breaths in each of the rounds. So I'll start you for the first round. Once you complete your 20 breaths, just let yourself get a few breaths, breathing naturally. And then you'll start your second round. And then again, just let yourself breathe naturally and then do your third round. 
And then we'll all finish together by sitting up tall with our eyes closed with our natural breath. Okay, sit up tall, hands behind your back. Fingertips pushing into the floor. Deep inhale and deep exhale. On your next inhale, push the breath out and start your 20 breaths of Kapalabhati. Breathe naturally. Second round. Or drowned. And just tuning in, noticing if there's any difference in your tummy muscles. I'm absolutely roasting, so I was going to say if you notice that you, you've increased in temperature. I'm absolutely sweating here, so <laughs> it's hard to tell. <laughs> and open your eyes. Okay, seated side stretch with one leg straight, three arm positions. You have the option. So start on the left side, you have the option of bringing your right foot into your left thigh or for those of you who feel that your hips are more open tonight, you can bring the leg behind. Only do that version if it feels good for you. If you are doing this version, you can take hold of the shin of the uh, right Whatever version you're in, breathe steady and be comfortable. Bring the left hand down onto the floor. Take a deep inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, bringing the chin towards the left shoulder. If you have the foot into the thigh, just let the fingertips of the right hand just hover above the floor. If you're have the foot behind you, take hold of the shin. Inhaling, lengthen up from your core so that you're not crunching into the hip. And exhale, feel your shoulder blades just sliding down your back. Use your Ujjayi breath to wash away the tension down the right side of your body. Second arm position is chest opener. Inhaling, raise the right arm up 
and exhale, open the chest towards the ceiling. Keep your right shoulder wrapped. Deep inhale, lengthen up and exhale. Feel for letting go of where you're holding the tension. It might be in your face, it might be your jaw. It might also be in your neck, so have your neck relaxed. Inhaling, bring the left hand to the side of the head and exhale, bring yourself all the way up. Turn to look down your uh, left leg and gently start to walk the hands down either side of the, the leg. You might want to just uh, bring your hands onto your thighs or your shins. Only go as far as is comfortable for you. Inhale into the upper back. Exhale, hinge from the hips and relax your neck. With each exhale, let the left thighs ease out the tension. Left hamstrings, left calf. Bring the heel of the left hand to the forehead, gently guide yourself up and rotate round to the front. If you've had the back foot behind you, Switch the legs, extend the right leg out this time, either the left foot to the inner thigh or you're taking the leg behind you. If the foot's into the inner thigh, you can hover the left fingertips above the mat or if you've got the foot behind you, take hold of the shin. Right hand is to the inside of the calf. Inhale, telescope the ribs. Exhale, let the chin drop towards the right shoulder. Use your Ujjayi breath to wash the tension from the left side of your neck, the shoulders, the upper back. Just let go of what you don't need to be carrying in your shoulder muscles and in your neck muscles. Second arm position, inhaling, raising the left arm. Exhale, wrap the shoulder as you come into chest opener. You might, in this pose, be able to just walk your right hand down a little further, but we're not wanting to collapse over here. You're still wanting to lift up and just rest the right hand gently on the mat. Inhaling into your collarbones and exhale, open up the chest, really feeling your deep breathing, getting into your heart space here. So oxygenating all around your big muscle, your heart muscle.
Take the whole of the right hand, bring your head up. Turn to look down your right leg. And inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, hinge over the right leg. Feeling for opening up the low back, the backs of the right leg. So inhaling into the point between your shoulder blades. And exhale, let your body melt over your thigh. Inhaling, gently walk your hands back. Bend the straight leg and carefully bring your hips back into the correct position. And let's do some abs. Well, actually, no, I'll be nice to you. Let's do bridge over a block. So if you have a block, Get a hold of your block. If you don't have a block, you can stack some little cushions up and put them under the sacral part of your spine. If you are using a block, you can use the shorter height or the longer height, but just be aware of how your uh, back is feeling. So bring yourself down onto the mat, feet hip distance apart, and gently push yourself up into bridge. Place your cushions or your block at the low back. Hands by the sides, palms facing up. Inhaling, expanding through the sides of the ribs. Exhaling, push into your active feet, switching on your legs, your thigh muscles. We'll do wrist stretches here. So you can stay in this supported bridge with both feet on the floor, or you, we will do one leg up, and if you are happy to, you can then either just bring the foot back down onto the floor or we go into hero pose and bring the foot uh, back towards the low back. You don't have to do that full one, you can stay in bridge if that's better for you. If you've got a tweaky back tonight and the, the, um, the block is aggravating it, you can keep your back on the floor with your knees bent. So that's another option for tonight. Extend the left arm out, hands, fingers are stretched for wrist stretches. Move the left, uh, the right foot towards the center of the block and inhale, extend the left leg. Exhale, push into the floor with the right foot if you're doing this version. Take hold of the little finger, pull it back. Inhale into the upper back and exhale, send the heel of the hand towards the ceiling. Take hold of the ring finger, pull it back. Inhale, expand the ribs. Exhale, push the left heel towards the ceiling if you have it raised or into the floor if you're doing that version. Take hold of the middle finger, pull it back. Deep inhalation here and exhale, soften your jaw.
Take hold of the first finger, pull it back. Inhale into your collarbones. Exhale, spreading the muscles in the hand. Back of the hands together, take hold of the thumb, pull it back. Inhale, send the heel of the hand towards the ceiling. And exhale, spread the bones of your hand. Hero pose on the left side, so you can drop the foot and if it's good for you, bend the knee and send the foot back. So it's, it's the front part of your, the top part of your foot is now on the mat. Opposite hand, take hold of the right finger, pull it back. Uh, the right pinky, pull it back. Inhale and telescope your ribs. Exhale, push the heel of the hand towards the ceiling. Extending the right leg towards the ceiling. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm getting myself confused here. Then uh, bring the left foot onto the floor so that you're back in um, bridge pose. Inhale, send the, uh, the right foot towards the ceiling. That feels better now. And exhale, straighten the leg. Take hold of the round finger, pull it back. Inhale deeply, exhale, relax the muscles in your face. Take hold of the middle finger, pull it back. Inhaling, straightening the right leg, and exhale, draw the toes towards you. Take hold of the first finger and pull it back. Inhale, expand the ribs. Exhale, feel that you're separating your fingers and stretching all the muscles in your hand. Back to the hands together, take hold of the thumb, pull it back. Deep inhalation. And exhale, send the heel of the hand towards the ceiling. Let go of the hand. Slowly bring the leg down if you've had it extended and hero pose on the right side if that's good for you. Take your hands, bring the fingertips behind you and just gently push the heel of the hands towards the floor, feeling the stretch in the inner wrist. And don't forget about your left foot. Keep pushing into the left floor, the left foot. With, keep pushing into the floor with the left foot. Arms extended. Bring the pinkies in, wrap the thumbs around, take a deep inhalation, and exhale, send the fists away from you. Release the right leg from hero pose. So we're back to bridge pose now. Take your arms out to the sides, thumbs come in, and you wrap the fingers around. Deep inhalation. Exhale, send the fist away from you so that you're getting a stretch down the inside of your wrists. So just below where your thumbs are. Extend the hands. Fingers stretched and fold down the pinkies and wrap the thumb around the fingers and send the fist away. So the fronts of the wrists are getting a stretch. Keep pushing into your active feet. Palms of the hands are stretched. Bend in the thumbs. Wrap the fingers around. Take the hands out to the side and send the fist away from you. So the inner wrists are getting stretched. And release the arms. Bring the hands down to the floor. Push into your feet and gently remove the block or the cushions. And slowly bringing yourself all the way down to the floor. Good, well done. Okay.
Let's do some abs. If you have got a rolled up blanket, take a hold of that. If you don't, you can use a cushion or a block as well. So just have something so that we've got that uh, for our uh, abs with a prop. Okay, so elbow to knee. Remember, uh, well, I'll remind you, for elbow to knee, you can have your knees bent, feet on the floor. We take our hands, we wrap them around the, the head. You can do elbow to knee with the feet on the floor. So you can do this version. Or you can keep the feet on the floor and bring one leg up. Or full version, both feet are off the floor. We extend the leg, keeping the leg off the floor and opposite side. So listen to your body and do what feels good for you tonight. I'll cue the version with the feet off the floor. So knees above hips, feet off the floor. Inhale, hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to the left. Extend through the right. Pull belly down. Inhale, back to centre. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to the right. Extend through the left. Pull belly down. Inhale, back to centre. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to the left, extend through the right. Pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows to the right, extend through the left. Pull belly down. Inhale, back to center. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up, exhale, elbows to the left, extend through the right, pull belly down. Inhale back to center, hold the breath, curl tailbone up, exhale, elbows to the right, extend through the left, pull belly down. Inhale back to center, come on, you've got it. Hold the breath, curl tailbone up, exhale, elbows to the left, extend through the right, pull belly down. Inhale, back to centre, hold the breath, curl tailbone up, exhale, elbows to the right, extend through the left, pull belly down. Inhale, back to centre, head down, feet down, bring your hands onto your tummy. So the intent for the practice is to feel your power. So feel your power that you're creating and the fire that you're igniting in your core. And direct the breath to your strong core. Abs with a prop, so take your block or your rolled up blanket. You can also use a rolled up cushion as well. Choice here, placing the prop between your thighs, squeezing the prop, feet flat on the floor, knees bent. So you can do it this way, so I'm going to demo the options. Hands behind the head, and this is the version that you'll be doing. Or you can have the knee bent version it looks like this. Or full version is the legs extended and you're lifting your chest. Okay. Hands behind the head, elbows point towards the ceiling. Bring your legs into the position that works for you.
Inhale, hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, squeeze the roll and lift your elbows towards the ceiling. Head off the mat, squeeze the roll. Inhale, head down. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the ceiling. Squeeze the roll. Squeeze the block, whatever you're using. And inhale, head comes down. Shoulders down. Inhale, hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, squeeze the roll as you lift your head and shoulders off the mat. Lift your tailbone a second time. Pull your tummy down. Inhale, head down, shoulders down. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, squeeze the thighs as you lift your elbows towards the ceiling. Pull belly down. Inhale, head down. Hold the breath. Curl tailbone up. Exhale, elbows towards the ceiling. Pull belly down. Squeeze the prop. Inhale, head down. Feet down. And sigh the breath away. Well done. Place one hand in your heart, one hand in your tummy. And connect with your body. If your mind is starting to wander, with negative thoughts, thinking I hate abs, or I can't be bothered with this. <laughs> Connect with your breath. When we push our bodies to do things that we don't particularly like, that's when negative chatter can occur. So it's quite interesting to just observe what's going on in your mind when you do things that you don't really like doing, but you know what is good for you. Roll over to one side and bring yourself up with a relaxed neck. So support the side of your head with one hand. Dolphin pose. So for dolphin, I'll demo what we're doing first. So hand, hands are on the mat. You can clasp the hands or have the hands parallel. We take hold of the upper arms. That sets our shoulder and elbow position, so don't move the elbows. Clasp your hands or palms of the hands on the floor. Dolphin pose looks like this, and you will have the option to stay here or raise one leg up. Okay, so let's do it together. Set. Your forearms on the floor, take hold of the upper arms. Clasp the hands or have the arms parallel. Relax the neck. Inhale into the upper back. Exhale, wrap the shoulders as you tuck the toes under and come into dolphin. Push the floor away with your forearms. Stay here or inhale and left leg up. Exhale, draw your upper body towards your right thigh. If you need to come down any time, just lower the knees and go to embryo pose. Lower the left leg and switch to the right leg extended. Lower the leg, lower the knees and come to embryo.
Gauge yourself up with the relaxed neck. And let's do suns. So you can, if you need extra padding, you can get a blanket and just place it halfway on your mat. Standing at the front edge of your mat, short edge of your mat, hands at your heart. Inhale, telescope the ribs. Exhale, forward fold. Lunge, left foot back. Left knee on the mat as you raise the arms up. Plank. Lower the knees, coming all the way down. Hands come forward, tractioning as you lift yourself up into a cobra. Tractioning as you lower down. Push back to down dog. Lunge, left foot through, right knee on the mat. Inhaling, raise your arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling, all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, telescope the ribs. Exhale, forward fold. Lunge, right knee back. Place it on the mat, raise the arms up. Plank. Knees down. Lower all the way down. Hands come forward, traction the spine as you raise yourself to cobra. Tractioning as you lower down. Hands underneath shoulders, down dog. Inhaling, right foot through, left knee on the mat. Telescope your ribs as you raise the arms up. Forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, telescope the ribs. Exhale, forward fold. Lunge, left foot back. Left knee on the mat, raising the arms up. Plank. Knees down, lower all the way down. Cobra, traction as you move forward. And lower down. Down dog. Lunge on the left side, right knee on the mat. Raise the arms up. Forward fold. Inhaling, all the way back up to standing. Exhale, hands to heart. Inhaling, telescope the ribs. Exhale, forward fold. Lunge, right foot back. Place the right knee on the mat. Raise the arms up. Plank. Knees down. Lower all the way down. Hands come forward into a cobra. Tractioning as you lower down. Down dog. Inhale, step the right foot forward. Raise the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhale, hands to heart. Okay, let's do one more on each side. And I won't cue you. So what I invite you to do is really feel the intent of tonight's practice. So it's about feeling your power. So when you're moving with the breath, feel how powerful your body is and really tune in to each part of the movement. If you get lost, just have a peek at me.
And when you're finished, stand in mountain pose. Close your eyes just for a moment. Feet are active. Feel your power. Feel how amazing your body is. And open your eyes. Chest opener on the wall. So let's start off with the left side. So you want to be one forearm distance away from the wall. So hands flat on the floor, um, flat on the wall, right hand is on your chest. You're coming into warrior one stance. So both hips are facing the front. If your shoulders are feeling tweaky, keep your hand um, directly in line with your hip, or you can bring the arm out and we're just taking it away from the wall. Inhale, telescope the ribs. Exhale, start to twist away from the wall or the door or the wardrobe, whatever you're using. <laughs> Chin remains in the centre line of the chest. And as you exhale, feel for drawing the left shoulder blade down your back. Feel for releasing all the tension from the right shoulder. Inhaling, bring yourself back to the center. Set the right foot forward and we'll do the opposite side. Set the right foot forward, left hand on your heart. Check in with how your shoulder is on this side and bend into your front knee. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, rotate away from the wall. Inhaling into your heart space. Exhale, draw the right shoulder blade down your back as you twist towards the center of the room. Inhaling, come back to center. Exhale, lower the hands and come to mountain pose. Okay, warrior, eh, we'll do eh, two poses in the X. So for this, we'll come into chair pose and do a half salutation. Coming into warrior one eagle arms and twisting lunge. So for eagle arms, warrior one, remember it's this one, and if it's twisting lunge, you can bring your hand onto the floor and you can also lower the back knee and raise yourself up, or you can stay on your legs. So I'll give you both options. So we'll come to the short edge of your mat, feet together, hands at your heart. Inhale, lengthen the arms up, exhale, chair. Come to forward fold. Onto your fingertips and lengthen the spine. Hands on the mat, step back to plank. Knees down, lower all the way down. Hands come forward, coming into a little cobra. Lower down, hands underneath the shoulders, down dog. Warrior one eagle arms, inhale, left foot forward. In a warrior one stance. Left arm is in, uh, underneath, uh, left arm is in top, right arm underneath. Backs of the hands together or palms of the hands. Elbows are in line with the shoulders. 
Inhale, telescope ribs. Exhale, let your chin drop towards your forearms, eh, your upper arms. Keep pushing into your active feet. Twisting lunge, you can bring the right knee onto the mat and also have the right hand on the floor if you want to do that. Otherwise, you can actually come into twisting warrior pose if you would prefer to stay on your legs tonight. So elbow into thigh, fist with the right hand and you're twisting around. So you choose what's good for you tonight, either twisting lunge or the twisting warrior by staying on your legs. So in these twists, it can be difficult to breathe. But rather than fighting it, use the twists to just tease out any tension in the low back, mid back, upper back. And gently bring the hands onto the floor, step back to plank. Knees down, lower it all the way down. Come into your cobra. Push back to down dog. Eagle arms and warrior one, step the right foot forward, both hips facing the front. Right arm on top, left arm underneath. Inhale, tail scope the ribs, exhale. Tucking your tailbone slightly. Both feet are active, both legs are working. Release the arms. Twisting lunge or twisting warrior. You can drop the back left knee. If you're dropping the back left knee, actually, remember it's the knee is underneath the hip. So there's not an angle in that back leg if you're doing that version. You can bring the left hand down onto the floor, or if you're doing the twisting warrior, bring the left elbow across and twisting towards the right. Relax your neck. Gently on twist, bring your hands onto the floor and step back to plank. Lower the knees, lower all the way down. Half salutation. Staying in your down dog. Warrior two shoulder shrugs. Stepping the left foot forward into warrior two. Inhale into the upper back, shoulders up, back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, drag them down your spine. Inhale into the mid back, squeeze the mid shoulders together, drag them down. Inhale into the upper back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, use your elbows if you need to, and drag the shoulders down the back. Inhale into the upper back, shoulders up, 
back, squeeze the tension as you exhale. Inhale into the upper back, squeeze the mid shoulders together and drag them down your back. Inhale into the upper back, squeeze the bottom tips together and drag the shoulders down. Reverse warrior, inhale, extend up with the right arm and sweeping back into reverse warrior. Keep a bend in your left knee and wrap the shoulder, the left shoulder as you come into your reverse warrior. Half salutation, bringing yourself both hands onto the mat. Step back to plank, lower the knees, coming all the way down. Cobra. Down dog. Warrior two shoulder shrugs on the right side. So stepping the right foot forward into warrior two. Inhale into the upper back, shoulders back, squeeze them as you bring them down. Inhale into the upper back, mid shoulders together, exhale, drag them down. Inhale into the upper back, squeeze the bottom tips together, use your elbows and drag them down your back. Inhale into the upper back, shoulders up, back, squeeze the shoulders together as you drag them down. Inhale into the mid back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, drag them down. Inhale into the upper back, mid tips are squeezing together, use your elbows and drag them down. Reverse warrior, inhale, lengthen up the left arm and exhale, coming into reverse warrior. Let the breath luxuriate the right side of your body. And remember the intent for the practice is to feel your power. So feel the power in your strong legs if they're not singing to you. <laughs> and if they are, just enjoy it. <laughs> Inhaling all the way up. Let's do a half salutation. Hands come down onto the mat into plank. Lower the knees, coming all the way down. Cobra. Push back to down dog. Warrior one, brain cradle. Inhale, left foot through. Warrior one, stands. So for brain cradle, clasp your hands and bring them at the base of your head. So it's really on your neck. Inhale, lengthen up. Use the heel of your hands to traction the cervical part of your spine, so where your neck is. And if it feels okay for you, you can come into a gentle back bend, but still keep the, head, the neck tractioning up. So this is a fantastic pose to release stress because you're releasing the stress from the part of the brain, the amygdala, I think that's how you pronounce that and rubbish it Latin, so I've maybe made that up. <laughs> but anyway, inhale deeply and exhale. Let the brain cradle do its work. Inhale. 
Inhaling, bring yourself upright and release the hands. Standing splits. So depending on how your hips are, you might need to just walk your front foot more into the centre line. Just It's a personal thing that I prefer to do. You might not need to do that. Standing splits. So brittle, bring the back foot forward and you're bringing your hands down onto a block, two blocks or onto the floor. And you can tap the back foot onto the floor or inhaling, raise yourself up into standing splits. And lowering the right foot, step back to plank. Knees down, lower all the way down. Hands come forward, cobra, down dog. Warrior one, brain cradle on the right side. Right foot forward. Clasp your hands at the base of your head. Inhale, lengthen up, exhale. Open your collarbones towards the ceiling. Inhale, straighten up, exhale, release the arms. Standing splits, adjust the front foot if you need to. Bring your hands down onto, onto your blocks or the floor and gently tap the toes on the mat, that might be enough for you tonight, or start to float the leg up. Gently lower the leg. Step back to plank. Knees down, lower all the way down. Hands come forward, cobra. Lowering down, push back to down dog. And gently walk the feet forward. Bring the heel of the hand to the head to bend yourself up. Okay, so make sure you're drinking your water. So, apex pose tonight is down dog, or down dog in the wall, or down dog in the wall with one leg up, and then you alternate between them. So, health and safety. Only do this in version if you've got room to move. If you don't, just do your down dog on your mat. If you're doing full down dog on the wall, or you can also do um, down dog with your heels on the skipping board, if that's good for you as well. So, for I'll just demo the versions that you can do. So you all know down dog, or you could do down dog with the heels on the skipping board or on a door and do that with a great opener for your hamstrings and calves. Or if you're doing down dog in the wall, step one leg up, see how comfortable you feel, and hands, wrists are underneath the shoulders. You have the option to bring one leg up here if you want to do that as well. When we come out, we'll come down into embryo. So, let's all do it together. Down dog on your mat. 
down dog with the heels on the wall or I'll cue you to come into full down dog on the wall and for those of you who want to do one leg up. So, hands on the mat. Inhale into the upper back. Exhale, wrap the shoulders as you push yourself into your version of down dog with the feet on the floor. If you are doing legs up the wall, step one foot up, then the other foot up for down dog in the wall. Push the floor away from you. Stay here or raise the left leg. Have your feet active. Lower the foot to the wall again, opposite side. Right foot is pointing towards the ceiling. Lower the foot, so you're down dog on the wall, and gently lower the left foot, then the right foot. If you're still in down dog, lower yourself down into embryo. Bring the heel of one hand onto your head and gently guide yourself up. Whoo! Sweaty! <laughs> okay, let's do our warm down now. We'll do a lounge lunge. Lounge lunge is lovely after that big back opener and big lengthening of the back muscles. So, lounge lunge. Let's Let's do the left leg first. So step the right foot back. If you need to get padding underneath your knee, you can use a cushion. So left knee back, pad underneath your left knee, and your left hand comes out towards the corner edge of your mat. Right forearm wraps around the shin of the opposite leg, and you start to twist towards the knee. Rest your head on your knee if that's good, or you can put your chin here, and sometimes you can rest your head on your shoulder. Just see what feels good. I used to do this version, but I actually quite like doing it like this now as well. So feel for the deep stretch all the way down your left side of your body. Massive stretch for the soleus muscles, your lats, your abdominals. Great if you've got low, low back pain as well. And gently come back to the center. Switching sides. Pad underneath the knee if you need to. Taking the hand out to the corner edge of the mat. Foot, the front foot's flat on the floor, but you have the leg at the, the feet active. I love this pose, it's one of my favorites. And gently bring yourself back to centre. Bring yourself all the way back. And let's come and sit on the mat for Baddha Konasana. Soles of the feet together. Active feet. Inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, hinge from the hips as you bring yourself forward. And just letting go of the tension from your hips. And 
gently bringing yourself all the way up. Bring your hands to the outer edges of your thighs and bring the knees together. We'll do back release pose before we go into our Shavasana. But if you want to put your warm things on just now, so that when you come out of back release pose, you can simply just go into your Shavasana. So, so bring yourself to lie down in the mat. Knees are bent. Bring the left foot onto the right thigh. And this might feel enough tonight. Or if you're happy to bring the knee towards your chest, thread the right hand through, take hold of the shin or the back of the thigh. You can also use a strap if that's better for you. And as you exhale, draw the knee towards you. Let the pose just go that little bit deeper by releasing any remaining tension from your low back, from the left hip, the left thigh. And gently release the leg and lower the right foot. Opposite side, bringing the right foot onto the left thigh. Just check in with how your back feels here, your knee, is your knee happy? Stay here or raise the left foot off the floor, thread the right arm through and take hold of the shin with clasped hands or back of the thigh. Again, you can use a belt if you need to. And let yourself just release the tension in the right hip, the low back. And gently release your hands and carefully lower the left foot down onto the floor. Bring the right foot onto the floor and prepare for your Shavasana. So if your back's feeling tweaky, have the knees bent. Otherwise, extend the legs along the mat. You can take hold of a cushion, place it behind your head. hands by your side. Feet are mat distance apart. Close your eyes. Take your awareness to your feet. Squeezing the muscles in your feet on an inhale. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze all the tension from your feet and exhale, release. Take your awareness to your calf muscles. Inhaling as you squeeze the calf muscles. And release. Take your awareness to your thighs, your glutes. Squeeze the muscles as you inhale, really getting rid of all the tension from your big thigh muscles, from your glute muscles. And exhale, release. Take your awareness to your tummy, your chest muscles, sides of the body, back of the body. 
Take your awareness to the arms and your hands. Make fists with your hands. Inhale, squeeze all of these muscles. Really get rid of all the tension. And exhale, release. Take your awareness to your shoulders, your neck muscles, your face muscles. Inhale as you squeeze these muscles. And exhale, release. Take your awareness to your whole body. And release any remaining tension with the exhale. And give yourself permission to relax, to be still in Shavasana.
and start to become aware of your breath. Bringing your awareness back into this moment. Deepening your breath to awaken your body and your mind. Roll over to one side. And bring yourself up with the relaxed neck, supporting the side of your head with one of your hands. Bring your hands in front of your heart. Just tune in to how you feel. Tune in to the power that you hold within your body. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me tonight, everyone.